well. Now we are covering family fun here in Nashville today with really a focus on kid-friendly attractions. But before I get into that, I did want to mention that many of our music attractions that you're all um, very familiar with, they offer interactive exhibits that are fun for all ages. So families can discover and learn more about country music past and present at the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. And engaging exhibits and hands-on programs offer memorable experiences for our, all ages. You can learn guitar basics, dance to country tunes, make costume designs, write songs, and so much more. And you can begin your visit at the Taylor Swift Education Center to see special artifacts and pick up fun gallery resources and activities designed just for kids. And the Grammy Museum Gallery at the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum is an interactive facility for visitors that allows them to explore the history of the Grammy Awards. And it gives all ages the opportunity to be on stage and interact with every aspect of the recording process. Visitors can play electric drums, keyboard, bass, and guitar, or sing along with Ray Charles and the Ray Letts. And for those interested in what goes on behind the scenes in the studio, exhibits for songwriting, engineering, and producing allow gallery attendees to get in the booth and see for themselves what it takes to cut a record. So there are interactive exhibits for singing, recording, DJing, and a recording studio and rehearsal um, room for those who want the full recording experience. So both of these music museums are fun for all ages and really have great interactive components um, that get the children actively involved um, with the history of music. On the culture and history um, subject, the Frist Art Museum welcomes children 18 and under for free. And the Martin ArtQuest Gallery is an interactive art making space where visitors can paint, print make, um, learn about animation and more. And the world's only full scale reproduction of the famous Greek temple, Nashville's Parthenon, stands in Centennial Park and features both the city's art museum and Athena Parthenos. She is almost 42 feet in height and is the tallest indoor sculpture in the Western world and gilded completely in gold. So she is quite um, the attraction to see. And this attraction was featured in the Percy Jackson film. So uh, again, another point of interest for families traveling with children who have read those books or seen those movies. You can also be a part of the new interactive guest experiences at Andrew Jackson's Hermitage, Nashville's presidential home. You can see a dueling demonstration by history reenactors with the award-winning program, The Duel or learn about Andrew Jackson's reputation as a horseman and his involvement in thoroughbred horse racing, the most popular sport of his day, with Wager to Win. So other historic attractions here in the city have programs that are very edu educational and fun for families as well, but I wanted to highlight those. Now we're gonna get into um, the family fun in Nashville. Uh, Nashville Shores and Treetop Adventure Park um, pictured there is a 385 acre family recreation destination. It's located on Percy Priest Lake, um, just 10 miles from downtown Nashville, and it is comprised of a first class water park, aerial ropes, and zipline courses. So fun for all seasons at Nashville Shores and Treetop Adventure. And then um, the Goo Goo Shop, located in downtown Nashville. Um, it is an iconic Southern brand. The Goo Goo Cluster was invented here in Nashville by Standard Candy Company in 1912. So at the Goo Goo Shop in downtown Nashville, um, guests can, of course, purchase candy, but they also can participate in fun, interactive candy making experiences. So we know all kids love the sweets, and this is a way to get them involved in um, making the chocolate candy that Nashville is famous for. And then the Adventure Science Center. Um, from the biggest celestial bodies to the tiniest molecules on Earth, Adventure Science Center showcases innovative, dynamic learning experiences that open minds to the wonders of science and technology. They also have a state-of-the-art Sudicum Planetarium where guests are swept away with the wonders of the night sky and stunning journeys across our planet, galaxy, and beyond. So great, fun science museum, uh, very interactive for, um, for the children. And to continue, um, Nashville Zoo is the best outdoor adventure in the city. 
Um, you can ride the Soaring Eagle zipline, learn about the zoo's history, and explore immersive animal habitats. The zoo really has some of the most immersive animal habitats in the country. We're very proud of it and is one of the most visited attractions here in the city. Now, Opry Mills is Tennessee's largest outlet and value shopping destination. It features more than 200 stores, and it's paired with unique family dining and entertainment options like Madame Tussauds Nashville. Um, you see there Justin Timberlake. Um, this attraction focuses solely on the lyrical legends that have shaped the musical landscape of America, and it's the only music-themed Madame Tussauds attraction in the world, fittingly right here in Music City. It's located right across the street from the Grand Ole Opry House and really puts the visitors as the star of the show, allows them to step into amaz amazing immersive settings with over 50 of their favorite musical icons from Johnny Cash and Elvis to Taylor Swift and Justin Timberlake pictured there. And with four professional sports teams, Nashville hosts sporting events for all seasons. NFL Tennessee Titans, our football team, they are play, They just kicked off their season. Uh, we've got two wins so far. The National Hockey League Nashville Predators, they play in the Bridgestone Arena right downtown um, at the top of Broadway. Um, the Nashville Sounds is our AAA baseball team. Their stadium is located just north of downtown Nashville. And then new for 2020, our MLS professional soccer team, the Nashville Soccer Club kicked off. Right now they are sharing their stadium with the Tennessee Titans um, at Nissan Stadium right across the river from downtown Nashville. But a brand new facility is under construction for the soccer club that will be located um, close to the downtown area as well. So Nashville is a really unique place to see um, a sporting event. All of our sporting arenas are located really close to the downtown entertainment district, making it walkable and fun to go celebrate um, a victory with some live music after the game. And if you would rather, if you would prefer to get in on the action, uh, we've got a multitude of recreational activities available here in Music City, like golf, um, biking, stand up paddle boarding, canoeing and kayaking, and zip lining, just to name a few. So, plethora of family options to enjoy in Nashville. Music City, I would. I always encourage you to reach out to our UK team or to me, um, me directly, and we will provide you with some great fun family itineraries. And now I'm going to pass it over to Tina Abelinosa with Gaylord Opryland, who has some exciting new developments to tell you about there. Tina, take it away. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here and thank you for the opportunity to introduce Gaylord Opryland to you. And I echo what Laurel has said, we really, really miss you here in Nashville. And one day soon, we will be seeing you. So Gaylord Opryland is just one of the many hotel app options that your travelers have in Nashville. There is a hotel that will fit any of your travelers' needs. We have most hotel brands represented here in Nashville, whether your traveler is looking for a limited service hotel to a full service, to a boutique special hotel or a resort. We have it all here. Gaylord Opryland is the only resort in Nashville. Um, this is the hotel that actually started the entire Gaylord Hotels brand. Um, Gaylord Opryland is also part of the Marriott portfolio. Um, the brand is designed to provide our guests everything they need within their reach while they're staying with us. So everything in one place so you can have it all. Um, Gaylord Opryland is just located steps away from the excitement and entertainment of, that Nashville has to offer. This hotel is like no other. Under our signature glass paneled atriums, we have nine and a half acres of atrium of gardens, lush gardens, waterfalls. We have an 18 story high um, fountain and we have a river, which is the fourth of a mile that runs through one of our atriums. And by the way, the resort is climate controlled. It is 72 degrees year round. So that this makes our resort a wonderful child's playground. Um, we have 2,888 rooms. We have two basic room types, your traditional and atrium view. 
We also have a variety of sweet options, which is great for families, whether you're looking for a thousand square feet to a 5,000 square feet suite, we have that as well. We have 19 food and beverage outlets, whether you're craving Italian, Mexican, Irish, Southern cooking, we have that as well. Next slide, Laurel. And if you love shopping, we have 13 retail outlets. Um, if you want to unwind and relax, we have a full service spa, a fitness center, an indoor and outdoor pool. And we have our latest addition, Sound Waves, which is in a, a four acre hectare, or five, so 1.6 hectare indoor and outdoor upscale water park. And since we are in Music City, we have live entertainment daily in the resort. And for golfers out there, we have a golf course called Gaylord Springs. It's an 18 hole championship course. And they do have a golf institute for those families that are wanting to learn how to play golf as well. Next slide, Laurel. For sound waves, Let's talk about Soundwaves, our newest attraction. So being in Music City, it was a no brainer to call or to name our water park Soundwaves. So we have thrilling slides. We have a great um, wave pool, relaxing pools. We have an adult, adult only pool and bar area. We have cabanas, we have party rooms. We have something for everyone. The indoor attraction is open year round. Outdoor attraction is open Memorial Day weekend to Labor Day weekend. We have restaurants and bars inside. And in the outdoor area, we have food trucks as well, which is so cool. It is a great place for families for all ages. I personally love taking my family there since we were not able to travel far this year. My kids and I spent a lot of time or a lot of our summer here. My daughter is 13. My son is 21 and I'm, never mind, I don't want to tell my age, but each one of them have their favorite rides or attractions and they leave me alone. It is actually my happy place now and it will be yours too. That's a promise. So the water park is really designed so every guest can enjoy the park and have a leisurely and enjoyable experience. What I love about it, it does not feel crowded inside the park. There's very minimal lines and a lot of activities for everyone. Gaylord Opryland continues to create events to provide our guests, our families, memorable experiences. During the summer, we have what we call Summer Fest. This fall, we have an event called Giggles and Goblins. However, our most popular event is a country Christmas. We are celebrating our 38th year now. Um, Gaylord Opryland has been known in providing magical holiday events and activities for our winter visitors. Um, we have spectacular light shows, festive scavenger hunts, gingerbread decorating, holiday fountain shows, caroling, and of course, photos with Santa. Santa. We have outdoor activities, an outdoor activity area called Pine Tuck that features skating, ice tubing, and yes, reindeer encounters. Um, remember that covered glass atrium that you saw in the previous slide, that is transformed and decorated with millions of twinkling holiday lights. Uh, we have towering Christmas trees and thousands of shimmering ornaments and garlands. The decorations are so elaborate that we start decorating in July in the middle of the hot summer, believe it or not. We also have a Christmas dinner show. Our entertainment this year is Oak Ridge Boys. They're a country music group. Um, every year we bring artisans from Harbin, China to create a spectacular exhibit called Eyes. But to, to, due to the travel restrictions, we won't be able to have them this year, but they will be back next year. We have partnered with Warner Brothers this year to create this signature multi-sensory immersive pop-up experience called I Love Christmas Movies, where you can actually walk through 13 different movie scenes of five popular movies, such as The Elf, The Polar Express, 
and many, many more. And you will have the opportunity to really like experience or see the props and listen to the original audio and many more. There is so much to see and do for all visitors of all ages, especially during the Christmas time at Gaylord Opryland. I know it will be another magical Christmas at Gaylord Opryland. So thank you for allowing me to share what we have to offer at our resort. And whenever your travel takes you to Nashville, we would love to be your host. Thank you so much, Tina. And thank you so much, Laurel, for going through what is available for families in Nashville. It really does cater for everyone. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone so much for joining us this afternoon. Um, we appreciate everyone's super busy. So we appreciate you spending time listening to some Nashville music um, and learning a little bit more about Nashville. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email um, or Laurel directly.